This is my maker's portfolio. I have two minutes, so let's go. I've been a member of my high school's robotics team for about seven years now, so I've worked on quite a few projects. But the robot I'm most proud of has to be the one we developed for the 2019 first robotics competition. That year, I was elected head of programming and concept design, so I had almost full creative freedom to create the best robot there is. It started in my garage, where I borrowed an old robot to try out accelerometers as well as the ultrasonic sensors to automate certain actions, like trajectory planning. Then I worked with friends and mentors to automate the climbing sequence, as well as the ball intake system, which, to my surprise, worked on the first try. I was later tasked with automating the ball shooting sequence. Now this time, I had my fair share of failures, but hey, with some slight adjustments to the robot, I managed to get it accurate enough to make LeBron proud. Now, unfortunately, I never got to see my robot perform on the field due to the 2020 pandemic. But you know what? At least the process was fun. Wait, 2020? That was two years ago, so what have I been doing in the meantime? Well, online classes were pretty boring, so I had to do something. And that's exactly how this little baby came to life. It's a quadruped robot modeled after Boston Dynamics Spot. I wanted to dive into the world of dynamic movement, basically walking on legs. I designed all the pieces on the free version of Fusion 360, then printed them out with my resin 3D printer. Then I realized that nothing worked. I mean, the pieces were too heavy and the motors were underpowered. So back to the drawing board I went. This time, I used Fusion 360's topology optimization to help my robot lose some weight. After many iterations, as well as shortening the legs, I finally had a working robot. It then took me a few weeks to figure out how inverse kinematics worked, and how to implement that into the code. I used an Xbox controller to send inputs to Raspberry Pi. Then a small computer uses the coordinates as inputs, and uses custom code to calculate joint angles. The value are then sent to the Polulu Maestro microcontroller, which then makes the robot move. Pretty cool, isn't it? 